and salutations, all ye Gentile folk of the seven-headed gold draft. This is your good friend and compatriot, Deadpool Zilla. And I'm here with a comic book review for my good friend, Movie Geek 17, uh, aka Alex Breen. And uh, this is going to be my review of his comic book, Fight or Flight, which is something he personally published. Um, he wrote. Uh, he wrote it, he created it, he busted his ass doing this. And I gotta give him a lot of credit. Uh, and he actually, it's kind of interesting because he told me, you know, I was one of the first people he wanted to send this comic book to me along with, you know, Mount Vernon Kid and uh, Geekvolution. I think he sent one to Geekvolution. I think he also sent one to Manos. But I was pretty much one of the first, uh, pretty much top of the list of uh, sending this comic book to to personally review it. He sent me the first issue free of charge, and he told me, you know, give me my brutally honest opinion. And here's my brutally honest opinion for you, Alex. I love it. I absolutely love this comic book. I think it's a really nice thing. I, I really enjoy it. I, you know, um, I just lost my train of thought, but you know what? I really dig this comic book. I absolutely love the uh, detail. I actually gotta say the artwork done by uh, oh god I can't believe it. I've got the book in my arm too. S.R. Aries. I hope I'm saying that last name right. Uh, he did the inks and the penciling the covers and Nadja Smith. Oh god I am butchering these names. Uh, basically everyone who worked on this uh, Alex first and foremost uh, did a damn good job with this. Now the story of Fight or Flight is the first issue is pretty much um, what it's about is this uh, this what happens we get a sense that a small town in, near Boston or is it Boston I'm not sure was pretty much it starts off with uh, this town that was pretty much nuked it's the new it's like a miniature Chernobyl and we see from this first issue is that something has come out of that there is uh, a group of superhuman black ops team uh, that consists of these characters like Achilles and uh, Ares, uh, not Ares, excuse me, uh, Ava, who may have been responsible for blowing up the town, as well as a few other characters that have superhuman abilities. And what they are is pretty much a Black Ops government team, kind of like a mixture of X-Force and The Authority, or I guess you could say Wetworks, or something along those lines. What I'm... It is a very good... Now, yeah, it's a com the whole government Black Ops superhero team. Yeah, we've seen that before, but I, you know what? If it ain't, you know... Every story's been told. I've always said that every story has been told ever. And it just depends on how you tell this story. And I think Alex has a very good uh, way of telling his story. And I like the characters in here. I mean, they, they, um, they're they a superhuman black ops team led by this guy only known as uh, Harvey Milos. And he we pretty much see them, their, their mission they're being shown, um, he's showing to a congressman to... He's basically showing this uh, Harvey showing this uh, congressman what his team can do, and it's them going after this uh, arms dealer who's been selling to the Taliban for so many years. And they show that these guys can kill. I mean, we've got one character named Blur who has superhuman speed, and she. It's very interesting to see a speedster use guns. I've got to be honest, and I just can't help but think Blur. Yeah, and it's kind of funny because the armor reminds me so much, and I don't think this was Alex's intention because I. It, as far to my knowledge, he's not the biggest Transformer fan, but the armor reminds me so much, and the name reminds me so much of the Autobot Blur. So, <laughs> we also got Achilles, who uh, is kind of like a ninja-type character, but he has a uh, coat of honor to him. And then we've got Hannibal, who may, who is a total sociopath and may become the book's villain. That's a possibility. We've got Brent, who's a unkillable machine-type man, and we've got Ava who was pretty much responsible for destroying that town. She pretty much has nuclear powers. And we also have Nolan, who has electric-based powers. And that's the whole team. And this whole thing is just to show that um, this Harvey guy reminds me so much of, the, by the way, he reminds me so much of Henry Bendrix from Warren Ellis' The Authority comics. And, you know, uh, this guy who's very shady. And I have a feeling that there's going to be more to his story along with that as well. I think there's there's more to Harvey than meets the eye. And that's kind of the scary part with him. 
I do love that they um, that this congressman when he finds out that they Ava that they know that Eva was the one behind destroying the town. The congressman's like, no, I gotta tell. Uh, I have to tell my higher ups. It's not a, not your pro- you know. I don't. You just showed me the person that was responsible for nuking the entire town. I have to tell my higher ups. And Harvey goes back and is like, well, I'm a really nice guy to have on your side. I'm I might be able to help you in your next election. And, uh, you know, might help you get into the White House. And to which the congressman's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll totally forget I saw that in order to get in the White House. Because that's how government works these days, right? <laughs> uh, but all in all, I really like the characters. Nolan is probably my favorite. I love his, uh, he's kind of like Michelangelo and Electro put together. It's a very interesting combination. I really dig this. Uh, I really dig the direction of this comic book. I don't know if I'll be able to read any of the other issues because I don't have the money to pay for it. But if you have the money to pay for it, um, go check out Movie Geek 17's channel and go follow his Etsy shop and as well as you know his other, his PayPal and whatnot. Go check that out, and you will be able to get comics of this caliber, which I am really glad he let. He, I felt really honored when uh, Alex came up, you know, sent me a message saying, "Hey, I." really like it to get your personal opinion on this comic book, and I just, I gotta say, Alex, you did a damn good job, you're doing something, I gotta say, you're doing something that a lot of us, including myself, this is something we all want to do with our lives, and, you know, God bless you for able to do something with it, you know, (laughs) you know, um, so, you know, good on you, man, good on you, um, but anyway, guys, uh, please help Alex, you know, this is his baby, this is something he's been working on for years, and I would really hate to see it, you know, cut down so shortly, so, yeah, um, please go to his, uh, channel, to his Etsy shop, and, you know, look there, um, and subscribe to Movie Geek 17 if you haven't. He, he puts out some really good stuff, and also, buy Fight or Flight, so, that's really all I have to say about this comic book, really awesome, um, Alex, you did a damn good job with this, and I can't, and hopefully, um, maybe, you know, I could, uh, actually, I take that back, um, I'm, maybe I'll hopefully see more of it, you know, but, uh, I can't afford, you know, money's a, is always an issue with me, so, anywho, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and once again, go buy, uh, go to Movie Geek 17's channel to help him with his comic book series, that is all.